Hello and welcome to the next tutorial. Today you're going to be making these fidget stars. Ooh, they're fancy. And if you're interested in what kind of filaments I'm using, go ahead and click on the video description and the link, there'll be links for each kind of the uh, filaments I'm using for this. Also, if you stick around at the end of the video after we're done with the tutorial, I will show you how, how I update these or upgrade them to something a little bit different than a fidget star. So let's get started. Now, this is my third attempt at making this video. Not this video, but a fidget star. My first one, scary hard. My second was a little bit easier, but I saw this video on DD Lab and he did it so well. And unfortunately, when I showed that video to my students, they had a hard time following along. So I decided to create my own using his method. So his link for all of his stuff is going to be on my video description. So go ahead and check it out. So I drag the star over here. Now I'm going to change this to eight points. There you go. And this is going to be 0 0.733. Now this is step one and I'm going to have the steps listed up here. That way you know which step we're working on. And we're not done with step one yet because we still have to change the width and the height and the depth. So before we do, I want you to click shift and do this. The reason is because when we do this, Tinkercad, the software program, will adjust all the heights accordingly. So right now they both say 40, but when I click here and change it to 100, they both are gonna say 100. Check this out, see, 100. <clears throat> so I'm gonna click away, very important, click away. Now click again and click here, make it 50. Very important that you click away because if you don't, it will also double the size of the 100 and it'll be 50, 200, 200. You don't want that. So let's go ahead. That was the end. Actually, no, that was almost the end of step number one. We're going to control D for duplicate and drag it over here. We're going to make this a hole and we're going to adjust, adjust the same thing over here. But before we start, we do the shimmy and we're going to change this to 94. Notice they both say 94. This is the end of step one. I know that was super easy. Now we're going to duplicate this four more times. So control D straight down, control D, D, D. I think that's enough. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, that's good. So now as part of step two, we're going to adjust the sizes of each one of these individually. So let's get started with the second row. Now, all the numbers I'm about to use are going to be over here on the side. That way, if you fall behind, you can just look at the numbers and <clears throat> not have to stop the video or anything. You just keep on going. So I'm going to do the shimmy for this one. There you go. And I'm going to change this to 88. They both say 88. That's good. This one is going to turn into 82 when I click on here, 82. There you go. And this one I'm going to change to 76 and this one do the shimmy and what 70. wow we're going quickly here i'm going to shimmy this one and 64. i'm going to shimmy this and it's going to turn into 58. i'm going to do it over here they're both 58. i'm going to drag these both up here drag these up a little bit okay uh, now shimmy this one and this is going to be 52 <clears throat> and this one is going to be 46 46 all right so that right there is step number two not too bad right well the next thing we're going to do is we're going to align each pair we're going to align in group so i'm going to align these two click the letter l or click over here in the center between these two and the center here. They're now aligned. I'm gonna hit Control G or Command G if you're using a Mac. And then I'm gonna do the next step here. So align by clicking the letter L, center, center, then Control G. Same thing, align, center, center, Control G. Align, L, center, and Control G. I'm gonna align this one, L, here and here and control G. Now that I have all these aligned and grouped, that's the end of step three. I know this is super easy, right? My next step is to align everything. So L here and this one here. If you look carefully, 
underneath, you should have this design. There you go. Now the next step, just as easy as everything else, we're going to group and then we're going to chop off the top by grabbing one of these boxes. Now, very important that you check the top. That way you make sure you get all of it. Now, we can't really chop the top if we don't go all the way up, but I want you to pay attention over here in the bottom right corner. When I drag this up, that number appears. We're going to click on that and hit 10 and enter. You notice that it only takes off the chunk at the bottom, so we want to raise this up and then group everything. We're going to do the raising up part again. So raise this up and right here, 10. Now I'm going to hit Control D. At, well, after I select it, Control D creates a duplicate. I'm going to rotate it 90 by staying inside of this blue square or blue circle. This one right there. Then I'm going to hit the letter D. Essentially, we are done. When you print this, you don't need any supports, which I love. I really don't like supports. But you're done. Congratulations. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Tell your friends and enemies. I really would appreciate it. However, for those of you that want to make this just a little bit different, pay attention. I'm going to show you three, diff three different things you should consider when printing these. Now, obviously, these are cool. Kids love them. However, what if you could make this an ornament? Let's do that. So we're going to grab this one right here. It's called a tube. And <clears throat> first thing we're going to do is we're going to align everything from only one side right here. There. It's aligned. Congrats. Now we're going to change the dimensions here by make sure we increase all the sides because it makes it smoother. And we're going to change this to four. There you go. Now I'm going to click on this object, the star, and click the letter T. That way I can see at which point this ring will not interfere with the movement because it would not be very good if you could, if you had, if you interfered with the movement of the other stars, it just wouldn't be as fun. I just moved it over once, so I got very lucky. Now, if you find that it goes over too far whenever you move it, you need to change your snap grid right there to something smaller. Or maybe even turn it off completely and you have the smallest possible movements. Okay, so there we go. When you print this, though, if you're going to make this an ornament, which you know, looks pretty cool. I designed one right here. It looks pretty good. However, Unfortunately, you will need supports. And if you did this correctly, you will only need supports under the ring. That's it. And you'll have to be careful when you take it off because obviously not cool, right? So <clears throat> here's the other thing I want you to consider. I know some of you are like, you know what? Everyone's going to be doing the same exact fidget spinner so or fidget star. So I want to do, do things a little bit differently. So I want you to pay attention I know some of you want to manipulate your star and make it a little bit different. This is what we're going to do next. I'm going backwards here. Hopefully we can go backwards enough so we have two of them. Okay, so these are the, the stars. Now, if you noticed when we went from here to here, it went down by six. When you go from here to here, it went down by six and it just kept on going down by six. So this was 100 and this was 94, right? Subtract six and then we get 88. Well, here's the thing. When you go from here to here, you can actually not go exactly six. If you wanted to, you can subtract by eight for all of them. Or what you can do is subtract by eight when you're going in this direction and then subtract by, I don't know, 10 going in this direction, subtract eight, subtract 10, subtract eight. And that'll give you different dimensions to your star. It won't be as uniform and it might stick out a little bit more. That's for those people that want to play with this and then make it a little bit different than everybody else's. Feel free to experiment because you want something different. Why? Because if you look at the Etsy shop, which I'm just showing you right here, and this is uh, point number three, these things are selling for around six to $10, sometimes a little bit more. So I don't recommend starting an Etsy with just this fidget spinner. Perhaps you should sell it on your Facebook page or wherever, whatever you have, maybe even TikTok, but check this out. This one right here, the dimensions are a little bit different, so it goes down a little bit further. Whereas the ones that I show you, it goes down about 10, maybe 15 millimeters. That's because they change the dimensions. So that's what you can do when you have um, different dimensions on your fidget star. So if you like this, go ahead and like and subscribe. And I hope you get to make your own very quickly. Have a great day.